well, it's the beginning of day four, and uh, I gotta leave in two days. I go back and see my kiddos. So I'm left with the uh, decision to pull out of something I made a, put a lot of work into, or toughen it out. And so far, I'm not finding much. I got a little bit of bear scat there, but I did hear some wolves last night, I'm pretty sure. Um, <clears throat> it was hard to tell, it was pretty windy, so. But I know they weren't coyotes, and pretty sure they're wolves. So I don't know if that's my problem here or not. I mean, there's some old tracks here, but it's hard to say. Some of these tracks like seem to stay forever and ever. So I know I've got motorcycle riders. I definitely have bears. Probably have wolves. I got some nature hikers and a sheep herder to deal with that doesn't speak English. So that's a lot for me, <clears throat> and it's just. Shocking me how far you get back in the backcountry and you find these people back in here. That, <laughs> I don't know. They're living their lives up in the mountains. All I know is they need to start probably headed south pretty soon or down the mountain because it's going to be getting cold fast. And there's a little pocket of snow here and there that I find, so it's kind of cool. But we'll see what today brings. If I don't get into some serious sign of elk, I'll have to load everything up and head back to the truck. Which I really don't want to do, but if that's what it is, it's what it is. It means I'll split my time up between the other unit and uh, Montana. And I might go to Montana just for a little confidence builder first. I don't know. To wait and see. Maybe I'll get lucky and run into some stuff. There's a nice cool basin up in here um, that I like a lot. And on the backside of that basin, according to my topo maps, there should be some good stuff on the other side that can at least glass. So we'll see what shakes.